Patria plc Finnish, Patria OYJ, Swedish, Patria ABP is a Finnish provider of defence, security and aviation life cycle support services and technology solutions. Patria is owned 50.1% by the Finnish government and 49.9% by Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace following a deal in 2016. The total value of the company was €283.5 million Euros when the transaction closed in the second quarter of 2016. <laughs> Products and services Armored wheeled vehicles, mortar systems and ammunition products as well as their life cycle support services. Life cycle support services for aircraft and helicopters as well as pilot training. Maintenance of Army materiel for the Finnish Defence Forces. Development and integration of systems for command and control and situational awareness as well as their life cycle support services. Topic: Patria Aviation. NH-90 Mini UAVs aircraft parts for Airbus A320 Airbus A380 Airbus A400M when initiated Embraer 145 Saab 340 Saab 2000 Topic Patria Systems Electronics and space technology, etc. Topic Vehicles XA Series APCs, Sisu XA one hundred and eighty five, Sisu XA one hundred and eighty eight, Patria XA two hundred and two, Patria XA two hundred and three. Patria AMV — Armoured Modular Vehicle Marine Personnel Carrier Mortar Systems AMOS — Advanced Mortar System NEMO — Light version of AMOS Criminal Investigation As of 5 September 2008, Patria is under investigation by the Finnish National Bureau of Investigation on its vehicle project in Slovenia and Howitzer project in Egypt. The company's former CEO Jorma Watarkorpi resigned on August 18, 2008, when the investigation was still ongoing. He was succeeded by former board member Heike Alanen. Furthermore, several other employees have been arrested on charges of bribery. The case is ongoing and currently as of the 5th of September 2008, the criminal investigation is underway. Elise Radio's investigative program Mo published details of the case, causing a scandal in Slovenia since the Slovenian government including then Prime Minister Janez Jansa was allegedly involved. The decision of the Turku Court of Appeal dated 17 February 2016, in which the court dismissed all charges related to Patria's export project to Croatia, has gained legal force and is final. None of the parties to the case applied for permission to appeal against the decision of the Court of Appeal in the Supreme Court. Also the demand for a corporate fine to be imposed on Patria Land Services OI was dismissed. 